Motorhead Garage, the program that each week introduces you to and shows you how to install the latest in exciting and innovative products for your vehicle. Now here's your host, Dave Dobson. We are Motorhead Garage presented by DragonFireTools.com coming at you from the Campbell's Custom Care Studio. You know whether you're a pro or an amateur, working on your car can be difficult because it's so hard to see sometimes. Of course, if you're like me, you got a six-year-old holding a flashlight, not that consistent. I love you, Lincoln, but not that great of work on the flashlight. And it's always a never-ending struggle to get the light where you need it, Kevin, but you fix that with Goose Grip. How'd you do it? Absolutely. The very first light that we made is called the Goose Grip Mechanics Work Light. It uses a vacuum suction plate on a long, bendable gooseneck with a uh, LED light stick at the end and a very, very special swivel. And it looks a little crazy, I know, but what we do is we take this, if we're working under the hood, we're gonna take this, which is a vacuum suction plate, otherwise known as a suction cup, and we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it through where the hood and the wiper shelf meet, and we're simply going to guide that through position the suction cup down at the lower end of the windshield and we're going to clip the handles and now you can take this and you can bend it however you want I'm going to take the Milwaukee battery and we're going to insert that now we're going to turn the light on Brilliant. and you get to position it however you want if you're doing an alternator or power steering or anything down below the height of the engine, just position it where you want. And now you can work with both your hands. You don't have to worry about a light falling. It'll stay wherever you put it. And wherever you turn it to, it stays in that position. Ballerina, 360-degree rotation. And also airplane propeller. It'll stay wherever you put it. Put it any place, at any angle, and you are free to use it. This, this is something that needed to exist, and here it is. I made it for me. I'm a mechanic 40 years, and this was the first light that I made. Everything is custom made. It doesn't break. It's really the definition of rugged. Everything is steel, stainless steel, and 6061 aluminum. The light stick is 100% waterproof to 28 feet. Not that you'd put it under the water. Where is it made? We make them right here in, in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, one at a time. All custom made, nothing's off the shelf. So we have another light. This is called the Goose Grip Super Articulating Chassis Light. And it uses the same design of a M12 battery and a housing and a gooseneck. It's a little shorter because you don't need all of that length under a car. And you can simply take the battery and insert it in this light. And now if you're under the car, you can clip this to an exhaust pipe or a bracket or a control arm or the frame rail, anything irregular. And under the car, it wouldn't matter because it, it'll leave a mark, it's teeth. But under a car on an exhaust pipe would be acceptable. You couldn't use this under the hood because you're going to leave teeth marks. We're used to the traditional hood light. That, that hangs across the, uh, the top of the hood, and it, you've addressed that as well for folks that like to work with that sort, sort of light. You can it, also use this as uh, sort of a backup. Maybe you want to use this in concert with one of those lights as well. Hood lights have been around for a really long time, and they're usually about four or five pounds, and they have the big uh, springs that hold on the edge of the hood. Um, like I said, four pounds, a lot of them. This is uh, the Goose Grip 39-inch stick light. And this weighs seven and a half ounces. And you've put a couple of uh, magnetic uh, loops up there already. And, Absolutely. Uh, that's all you need to do. And so, okay, you just slide it through. And now you have this light right here. And I'm going to use the, the portable version of the battery pack. I call it the Buffalo. And this will stick, of course, to any, any metal. We could actually put it on the hood and uh, plug it in and now you have 3600 lumens of overhead lighting just like a hood light.
Goose Grip's got you covered whether you're working under the hood or under the vehicle. Find all of it at GooseGrip.com. And find more Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com right after this. Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com is brought to you by Campbell's Custom Care, your detail specialist. And by RockAuto.com, all the parts your car will ever need. This is Motorhead Garage presented by DragonfireTools.com. If you've got a pickup truck or a Jeep, you know they're tremendously useful and a rack can make them even more useful. But there's a lot of shortcomings when it comes to some of the racks out there on the market, Ben. What are some of the problems you've seen with them? Yeah, so with, with racks, tonneau cover compatibility is a big problem. The racks that are compatible, you can't open the covers. The ones in most other racks, you can't even run a tonneau cover. Um, the other thing is a lot of racks are too short. You can't run a kayak. And then it's always a, tr a lot of trouble figuring out how to mount all your different gear. So what did you decide to do with truck? So with truck, when we first started, our biggest concern was, for me personally, I'm a kayaker, I like kayaking. You, you lost your tonneau cover ability, or they were too short and I couldn't put my kayak on. So what we did is we created a rack that was 12 and a half inches tall, which is like the goalie lock zone. Just right. It is just right, so you can put your kayaks up top, still keep your bed covers, keep all the raccoons and stuff out when you're camping, and really just have a really functional and, and clean solution. First of all, how does it mount to the truck? So, like a lot of racks, this sits on your bedside. Um, this goes on the inside of your truck. You have two slots here, and if you've got a, like a Tacoma or Gladiator like this one, you mount directly into the trail rail, bed, bed rail, utility rail. If you don't have that, we have a clamp system. Seven and a half inches wide, so you got a huge footprint. And it, this is modular, so how can you change it from, from what we see here? Yeah, so this is a, it's a totally modular system. On the uprights, you can add an accessory panel like this one. You can mount all kinds of accessories like recovery straps, axes, shovels, retraction boards. A lot of guys really like to use it for the recovery side of things, so when you get stuck, you just have the ability to grab your stuff real quick and get your, get your truck unstuck. Makes a whole lot of sense. Now let's talk about the construction there of all your uprights. What are yeah. they made from? So our uprights are made from a 10 gauge steel. The 10 gauge steel is E-coated and then powder coated. E-coating is the process that uh, all your auto manufacturers use to coat your entire truck. So what we've tried to do is make a, as rust proof of, of a product as we possibly can. The face plates, the accessory panels, a lot of the other parts are aluminum. So really the only parts that are still steel are the structural components. And those are made in the USA? Everything's made in the USA in Pennsylvania. So Pittsburgh steel right there. So yep. it's, it's good stuff. And you have a rust guarantee, right? Yep, we have a five-year rust guarantee against all of our steel parts. Of course, with your riser, then, if you want to run bars across, this is your standard bar bracket. How does it mount in there? So you've got the two positioning pins, and we've got the holes on the inside here. Those positioning pins allow you to adjust the bracket, the bar height, every two inches from the top all the way down. And you've made this super easy, too. Yeah. You're not having to worry about wing nuts or anything like that, like others. Right. So we've got the riv nuts, stainless steel riv nuts in the, in the front face of that there. Mm -hmm. So you just put your two bolts in. We've got the nylon shoulder washers to keep your coating good. And it centers it, the hole, and it's, it's just a, a quick install. If you want to go even higher, you have the, the, this riser bracket right here. It mounts the same way and uh, gives you a little extra space. And how adjustable is that, too? Same as, same as the other one. It'll adjust every, up and down every two inches. And then the really fun part is you got the 24 inch rack like what's on my Tacoma behind you, um, you could take that bar bracket and add that bar bracket in and create a second level of storage. So perfect for overlanding, you can still open the tailgate there and you can uh, get to both levels too. Now uh, I know that there are a lot of accessories that go with the crossbars and that sort of thing. How do they play with trucked? Yeah, so uh, with all the accessories like bike mounts, kayak mounts, all that sort of thing, for a lot of that we have our own mounts. We like to work with a lot of the other companies, there's no sense in our minds to recreate a, a kayak bracket, but we want, what we want to do is make it really easy for our customers to mount their, what they may already have to their trucks. This is a J-hook from Rhino Rack, and they perfected that there, so how did you uh, make it able to mount to uh, one of the truck units? Sure, so we, come up, we came out with this bracket. This bracket perfectly fits our, our crossbars, and any rack like this, as long as the two bolts are in line, will mount to our brackets. So then it's, it's a super easy install. You don't have to worry about going back to Home Depot and getting longer bolts or something like that. So and we've tried to do that with all of our, our brackets. We'll include hardware kits and, and we're just trying to make it easy. And where someone else hasn't created a mount, you guys came up with one. This is for the extra wide tires on the e-bikes and uh, you guys have that thing nailed here. But what I want to talk to you about here is this, this Jeep here. The setup in the back, it's not symmetrical with the racks. How does that work out? Yeah, so that's one of our, our kind of really unique features. What we have on the driver's side is a 12-inch setup, 
And on the passenger side, we actually have a 24-inch rack. So like, I said, like we said before, all the parts are modular. So the 12-inch will dead end into a 24-inch. And then what we did here, we call this our overlander setup. And what we did here is we're keeping the tent low at the 12-inch height, and we want our awning up, up high so you can still walk under it when you're at camp. So that's the, that's the setup we got going on, and it's just a couple extra parts. You can get risers anywhere from 6 to 24 inches. These things are incredibly adjustable, incredibly adaptable to any situation. Find them at GetTrucked.com. And you can find more Motorhead Garage presented by DragonFireTools.com just around the corner. Motorhead Garage, brought to you by Dragon Fire Tools. Heavy-duty workbenches and cabinets for your shop or garage. Thanks for rolling along with Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com. Now, Motorheads, I know you've had this situation. You hop in your car, you go to shift into drive or into reverse, and you got a sloppy shift lever there. A lot of folks are panicking. They're thinking, bad Absolutely. transmission, Rita. <laughs> but it's not always the case. So what is this symptomatic of? What could be going on in there? Well, first off, you're right. First thing that happens when something happens in your car, it won't go into gear, you think, oh my God, thousands of dollars for a transmission. That's labor, even a used one. I feel the immediate pain in my wallet when yes, this happens. Yes, absolutely, you know? I'm terrified. But it doesn't have to be that way. Now, historically, people would tell you that all the time, right? Yeah. But it could be something as simple as your shift cable. Okay. And if you don't know what a shift cable is, it's the line of communication from the interior, your gear shift knob, down to your transmission, so that when you move that knob, and it says go into drive, it makes certain that the transmission responds. So if it's not responding properly or talking properly to each other, sometimes happens, you know, in marriage, it could just be <laughs> Why are you pushing. looking at me? <laughs> oh, well, I don't know. <laughs> but at the end of your cable, you just literally can take a look at it and say, huh, take it out, take a look, and it may be just the bushing that has shattered, fragmented, or gotten old. And that is not an expensive fix. Well, and conversely, you've got the, the shift cables, and, and what is that going to cost to, All to right. replace? Well, before our product came into existence, so it's really cool, you had to replace the entire shift cable. And I'll give you an example. On a Cadillac, it can be as much as $1,800 alone just for the cable, <laughs> not labor. It's before labor. And your fix is called bushing fix. Bushing it's fix. Very straightforward. It's very straightforward. Just fix that bushing and be on the road again. And what does it take to just fix the bushing? The, which end? <laughs> All right, because it does connect to both ends of the car, the shifter to the transmission, you literally just have to, if it's on the transmission end, go underneath, disconnect your shift cable, inspect, you don't have to take it completely off. So literally just disconnect that shift cable from the pin, and this is a shift cable pin at the transmission end. So disconnect it, look inside that shift cable out little outlet there or I guess it would be a grommet and look into it see if it's still there if it's fragmented at all just take a small flathead screwdriver get it completely out go to our website bushingfix.com click on your manufacturer whether it's Chevy Ford whatever it is then find your model then find the year and we tell you what the kit is that would repair both the transmission end and in some cases the shifter end. And what I say, Dave, to customers when they call in if they have a high mileage vehicle or an older vehicle, if the uh, bushing at the transmission end goes out, they were put in at the same time for the amount of time it's going to take you to replace it. Go ahead and save yourself some anxiety, some worry, some downtime and replace it at the other end as well. And you're do, doing so at under $60. We cover 97% of all makes and models on the road in automatic transmission from 1970 all the way up to 2023 and a few older ones. And which is a great thing also to say to people, you may be a manual shift driver, maybe you prefer that. Right. We are expanding into that. We have several products now for that, like the Dodge Dart, for example, was our first manual shift bushing repair kit. What if you, you get in there and you see something that doesn't look like the diagrams, it looks unusual, what can somebody do? Well, we're a family-owned business, and what we like to say to people is we are just five people that are family taking care of your family to get you back on the road. So text us, call us, email us a picture. We look at it, confirm your fitment, make certain you're getting the right part and get it right out to you. And we know some of your shop owners out there, you're going to love this kit. Now tell me what comes in the kit and how you make it easy for okay. folks that are doing this professionally. All right. Thank you so much for that. Because we've been in business now 12 years selling these, we realize that a lot of our transmission repair you know, businesses need this. It gets their fleet business uh, owners back on the road, makes it easy, gives them good profit to their bottom line as well because time is money. So it saves you time, saves you money, the whole thing. So we assembled a kit, 
24 of our most commonly sold and used kits. We do make them color coded because there are some girls in the business and we want it to be pretty. Of course. So we don't want that boring, you know, <laughs> auto parts thing going on. But our catalog, we broke it down because I ran um, a Ford shop for a number of years. And it's a really pain, typically in the automotive world, to order parts. You find your year making model, you click on a part, it takes you to another link. Our catalog is alphabetized by manufacturer, say Chevy, then Dodge, then Ford. Underneath that, in alphabetical order, are the models. Underneath the models, in chronological descending order, are the years. Color coded to match the color package, simple. It's like a walk in the cake. Absolutely. And again, it saves that shop owner and their repairman time. Makes it easy. Makes them go on to another job, making more money and saving time for the customer. This is an American product. It's a family owned business and they have a lifetime warranty. That's unique in the business. Nobody's doing that. Find it at bushingfix.com. We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage presented by dragonfiretools.com. Don't go anywhere. Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com, is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Steel rubber products, quality crafted rubber parts and weather stripping. And by Forney Industries, innovating since 1932, we are welding. Thanks for hanging out here in Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com. You know, there's a lot of car care products out there, and trying a new one means a big commitment. But at Glovebox, Brad, you guys make it a lot easier to try new products. How do you do it? Yeah, so being a detailer myself, it's very hard to get through the chaos of the car care world. Whether you're buying online or you're going in the store, you don't really know exactly what you should be buying or you don't want to break the bank by doing that. So. Over five years ago, we started Glovebox, and which is a monthly subscription box where we curate, deliver, and teach subscribers how to use premium car care products. We introduce them to products they might have heard. We introduce them to products they might have not tried or never heard of before. And we do that every month by giving them three to four liquids, tools, and towels to complement those liquids so they can form real life opinions on what they like. You go to GloveboxDetail.com and that's how you subscribe to this box and it's monthly? Exactly. Every month this will show up at your doorstep or in front of your garage or at your shop. In the five years you've been doing this, what have you learned about car care products? Well, we've learned a lot. I mean, we've learned the good and the bad. And one of the things we learned is that we are shipping a lot of water. So we wanted to come up with a way where we're, we're keeping shipping costs down. We are making dilutions perfect we are also making it fun for the end user. So we came up with Glovebox RX, which is a concentrate cartridge system that you get this starter kit that has four bottles, four sprayers, four cartridges, and four towels. And essentially what that is, is you get an empty bottle and then you fill it up to this fill line with water. You ship the empty bottle and, and everything you need with it. Exactly. And then all you do is pop in the cartridge, Put in your sprayer, that's also included. Turn the top and watch the magic happen. Oh, that is cool. Perfectly and diluted glass cleaner. And when you're done with this, to save on plastic, you are not buying the bottle and the sprayer again. All you are doing is replacing with the refill cartridges and you're ready to go. It is a revolution in car care products. It saves a lot of space too. You don't have all those bottles taking up space on your shelves. You can find all of this at GloveboxRx.com. Oh, by the way, a special discount code for Motorhead Garage viewers, keyword Motorhead. When you go to their website, you get a 20% discount. Spark plugs can tell you a lot about what's going on inside of your engine. Welcome to this AMS Oil Tech Tip. We're gonna talk about spark plug gapping and reading spark plugs. Let's start out with gapping. Well, it's important to gap a spark plug because a spark plug has to deliver the spark inside your cylinder under harsh conditions and this gap has to be proper. Now there's two ways. You can use a wire feeler gauge like this, go in there and gap it. And also you wanna gap it. First when you install it and or if it's wearing for a while, go ahead and set that gap. And then you can use one like this. You go through there, follow your manufacturer's specification for gapping a spark plug. Now, important part is reading that spark plug. When you pull it out, you can see right here, there's a normal, there's one with pre-ignition right there. Now that's advanced timing, it's way hot, and that's gonna be a hot condition. Mechanical damage, something hit the spark plug, 
and then you have the carbon fallon. Carbon fallon is usually a rich condition. Oil fallon, you're getting oil into that cylinder. Now check out the two there, overheating and torch seat. Think about that, overheating, torch seat, and pre-ignition is all because of heat and heat-related things going on inside of that cylinder. Now whether it's a car or a two-stroke cycle, heat's gonna happen in that cylinder. Isn't that right, Len? That's correct, and you know, we're looking at a, a, you know, a string trimmer here, and you'd be surprised at how hot these things actually get. You wouldn't think about it, it's just a small piece of lawn and garden equipment, but the spark plug temperatures on these things can exceed 500 degrees F. And when we get to those temperatures, deposits become you know, likely. So you want to make sure that you're getting an additive in your fuel. And for that one, it would be the Amsoil Quick Shot. Mix it in uh, per the directions on the back, depending on the fuel tank size. And it'll help minimize any deposits on piston crowns, combustion chambers, your spark plugs, and the ring lands. If you've ever been in the hot Florida sun trying to start one of these things, that's an awesome tech tip. So get you a little Quick Shot. Put it in your two strokes for cars as well. Make sure you check them out on the website at amsoil.com. We are sure glad you came along for the ride with us today here at Motorhead Garage presented by DragonFireTools.com. If you have a product, something cool like this you want to see on the show, email me, Dave at MotorheadGarage.tv. We'll get you here in our studio. From our entire crew here in our DragonFireTools.com studio, we'll see you next time at Motorhead Garage. <laughs>